The clock is ready. Less than a minute now. We just heard about 10 seconds ago that one minute countdown from JEA. We're going to step out of the way to show you what it looks like. And, and Jim, you've been working on this story uh, been for a while. Out here. What we're going to see, not that entire building go down, but where that scaffolding is, that is where those reactors are. Here we go. <laughs> Wow, Jim, wow. I really felt that. The ground you, did shake. You could feel it. You could hear it. You saw it as it's coming down. What that actually did was cut that metal and what it did and bring that down. Those converters there, it's an environmental part. And that's what came down there. Left the boiler standing. Those are going to come down at a later date along with another stack over there, Vic. But you can see that now that dust, which they said should not be a problem. They have water on there. It's blowing in the other direction here, but they believe they're going to have all of that contained. It's not going to be a problem for us. Right. And I don't know many people over there, but you saw how quickly that came down. It's, it's amazing that it just happens. You, we saw the blast. It came down. Then you saw, I think, I forget how they described that, but it was a way that they actually cut that metal for right. it to come down. The contractor involved with this demolition and the implosion said it's like cutting butter. Yeah. Basically, they put dynamite and other explosives up and down these stacks, up and down the metal railings, and then a series of blasts, all of that happening in less than 10 seconds, slice through and it's gone. I mean, basically, if you blink, if you look the other way, you miss it. it and, but it's still just fascinating to see how that comes down. And the fact, too, that the rest of that boiler, so the, the precision on this, that those two boilers are still left standing without any problem right. at that point. And those are going to come down later this summer along with the stack. There's another, uh, like a huge smokestack over here. I think, you know, to describe this to people, how this actually is and what this was all about, if you look at this like a car, where those boilers are, that is the engine. Where the metal was, that's like the catalytic converter in your mm -hmm. car, the smokestack, the exhaust pipe, and that's it. We're gonna go now, let's look at this again though. I think that's the important part. Let's take a look and you can see. Quiet for a second so you can hear it. You know. Happened in two different phases. Sure, those there. are the it's two not, explosions. Yeah, so the, the first one was the explosion to get it down, and then the other was to cut that to cut that metal. So uh, that's the situation on that. I think if you can see from our other camera as well, uh, there is that dust cloud that is moving, uh, and it's going to probably hit a few neighborhoods over there. Right. But they didn't think this was going to be a problem at this point. So the next step is to remove the two boilers, to remove all that, and then the St. Johns River Power Park will be no more. JEA owns this land along with FPL. They do plan to be selling that. At one point, that is the plan, but they're not exactly sure right. what's going to happen here. You know, and I've been watching the time here, and everything worked perfectly. JEA and the contractors got very fortunate with the weather here because you have clear skies. You really don't have wind as an issue, uh, no precipitation. So things worked out for them. And now we're just waiting for that dust behind us to settle. You said that some people probably will be affected slightly. The good news is the way that this north side generating station is set up, there's land all over. So you have and landfills. at least a mile in each right. direction before there's any homes or businesses. Right. Yeah. So that, that's that dust the thing. Is probably the landfills settle. behind there the situation. Yeah, you know, and, and I put yes. a, a clock on it. From yep, the time I heard soon. the first explosion, it was 12 seconds before the building just literally came tumbling down. And I think we've got another camera perspective that we can show you of that building tumbling here. The reactor is 244 feet high. Well, they were 244 feet high. Watch <laughs> So Jim was talking about the fact that there's a lot of uh, steel in there. 11,731 cubic yards of concrete, 5,963 tons of steel. So you're wondering, okay, so what happens to all that stuff? They're actually going to come in 
once the dust figuratively and literally settles, they'll cut it into pieces and then they'll recycle it. And that's one of the reasons we were talking with JA, in fact, earlier this morning that they said they decided to do this in pieces is to give the opportunity, of course, to recycle some of that material, make it easier for those contractors to get in there and, and basically salvage that equipment. We know 46 pounds of dynamite was used to bring that down and they had each, oh, what, like 197 chargers all around as you heard them kind of go off and ignite that dynamite and bring it down with such precision. It's always just so impressive to watch. And of course, we are gonna show you Again, coming up in about 30 minutes because you get, it never gets old watching an implosion. No, so our coverage continues certainly uh, throughout the morning, and because uh, we're just getting started. So yeah, th th there yeah. it is again. Uh, you know, I, if I remember, JEA spokeswoman uh, Jerry Boyce, when they were talking about you know the, the entire demolition process, mm -hmm. that includes the two, uh, two cooling towers that mm -hmm. were brought down well, it was back in June, I think, which was a little bit more dramatic. Yeah. Uh, the total cost of the demolition of the plant was something like $68 million, but it's still pretty cool to see. And when you think about it, the engineering and, and the mathematics and the algebraic equations and the geometry, all this Incredible. math stuff, which I don't understand, that goes into <laughs> literally making the building collapse upon itself is just absolutely amazing with such precision. It's just phenomenal. So the two buildings that remain standing, as Jim and Vic mentioned, they will be demolished at a later date. And I'm sure you'll be able to watch that again live here on News for Jackson.